Hi Gandhi class, welcome to your second maths lesson this week and our learning objective for this lesson is can I subtract amounts of pounds and pence? So in today's lesson we are going to be learning to to use a number line and part whole model to subtract to find change. So as a quick starter activity I want you to have a go at doing this on your mini whiteboard. So who has enough money to buy the book? This book is worth 12 pounds and 90 pence. This is how much the first math astronaut has, and this is how much the second math astronaut has. So what I want you to do is pause the video to work out who has enough money to buy the book. Okay, so let's have a look at the first astronaut here. Let's count up how many pounds and pence they have. So we've got a five pound note, two pound coin, a two pound coin, a two pound coin, a one pound, a one pound coin and two fifty pence pieces. So we've got five pounds, add one pound makes six pounds, add two pounds makes eight pounds, another two makes ten pounds, another two makes twelve pounds, Add 50 pence makes £12.50. Add another 50 pence gives us £13. So this astronaut has £13. Let's check to see how much this astronaut has. So we've got a £5 note, a £5 note, a £1 coin, two 50 pence pieces and a 20 pence. So £5, add £5 gives us £10. Add £1 gives us £11. Add 50 pence gives us 11 pounds and 50 pence. Add another 50 pence takes us up to 12 pounds. Add 20 pence gives us 12 pounds and 20 pence. So which one has enough money to buy the book for 12 pounds and 90 pence? Well done if you said this astronaut has enough money to buy this book because he has got 13 pounds. Whereas this astronaut has 12 pounds and 20 pence so she doesn't quite have enough money. Okay, so let's go on to this question. Jack buys, let me get my highlighter quickly, Jack buys a pen for four pounds and 40 pence. He gives the shopkeeper five pounds. How much change is he going to receive? So with this question, we're looking to find out how much money he's going to have left over. And we've got a bar model to help us work that out. So here's the five pound note that he gave. And this is the four pounds and 40 pence that he spent. So to work out the change, we need to see how much you would add to four pounds 40 to get to 50 pence. So pause the video here to have a think about what you would need to add to four pounds and 40 pence to get to five pounds. Okay, so we need to get up to 100. So we need to think about what we need to add to 40 to get to 100, because we know that 100 pence is the same as one pound. And that would then take our four pounds up to five pounds. So you needed to add 60 pence. So his change would be 60 pence because 40 add 60 equals 100. Now you could have worked at that out by doing the inverse. So you could have done 100 take away 40, which gives you 60. Or you could use your knowledge of number bonds to 100. So we know that 40 add 60 equals 100. So that means his change is 60 pence. OK, let's have a go at answering this question together. So I'm just going to get my highlighter out to help me pick out the key bits of information. Rima buys a sandwich for six pounds and 85 pence and she pays with a 10 pound note. How much change is she going to receive? And we need to use a number line to find out her change. 
So what I'm going to do on this number line, on this end, uh, let me get my text box, there we go. On this end of the number line, I'm going to write six pounds and 85 pence. Oh, I need to move that over a little bit, sorry guys. Okay, so six pounds and 85 pence, and that's because that's how much the sandwich cost. On this end, I'm going to write 10 pounds because that's how much money she gave. And what I'm going to do to work out the change is I am going to find the difference. And when I find the difference, I'm going to look at it in terms of the pence and pounds that we have. So I've got six pounds and 85 pence and I want to get to the next 10 pence. So what am I going to add to 85 pence to get it to the next 10 pence? Pause the video and have a think. Well done, I'm going to add five pence. Okay, and then that now takes us up to six pounds and 90 pence. Okay, so now I want to get up to the next um, next pound. What do I need to add to 90 pence to get it to the next pound? Remember, there's 100 pence in one pound. Pause the video to have a think. Well done, if you said 10 pence, I'm going to add 10 pence. Oops, sorry about that zero, there we go. And that now takes us to seven pounds exactly. And again, I'm gonna think in terms of the pounds that I've got. So what I'm going to do is add one pound. And what will that take us up to? Pause the video to have a think. Well done if you said eight pounds. So we are now at eight pounds. Let me just move that quickly. And I'm going to use uh, two pounds to get me up to 10 pounds because eight add two takes me to 10 pounds. Okay, so here are my jumps and here are the amounts that I use to get um, to 10 pounds from six pounds and 85 pence. But what do we need to do next? Pause the video to have a think. Well done, I need to add together all of these amounts in order to find how much change she's going to have. So, Two pounds add one pound gives us three pounds and 10 pence add five pence gives us 15 pence, which means her change is going to be three pounds and 15 pence. And that's how we used, uh, we used the number line in order to get us um, that answer to find out how much change she will get. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. So, the astronaut buys an ice cream for two pounds and 35 pence and he pays with a five pound note. So let me get my highlighter out to highlight the key bits of information. So the ice cream was two pounds and 35 pence and he paid with a five pound note. Now we want to work out how much change he is going to receive. And if you have a look at this part whole model here, the five pound note has been split into four pounds and 10 pence. So what do you think we're going to do next? Pause the video to have a think. Yeah. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is take the pounds away from the pounds and the pence away from the pence. And because we've split our five pound note into four pounds and 100 pence, that will help us work it out. So let's do four pounds take away two pounds. What does that equal? Pause the video to have a think. Well done if you said it equals two pounds. And now we need to do 100 pence take away 35 pence. Pause the video to work out what that is. Well done if you got 65 pence. So that means the change that our Mastronaut is going to receive is going to be two pounds and 60, oops, 65 pence. And we use the part whole model to help us by partitioning the five pound note into pounds and pence. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. I'm just going to quickly move that down so that you can see it. There we go. Okay. So, Kira spends six pounds and 87 pence at the supermarket. She pays with a 10 pound note. How much change is she going to get? Now, you can use either the part whole model or the number line to help you work this out. I'm going to use the number line to help me. So I'm going to draw the line like this. Uh, sorry, get my line out again. There we go. Okay. And then on one side, I'm going to write how much she spent, which was six pounds and 87 pence. And at the other end of the number line, I'm going to write how she paid. So she paid with a 10 pound note. And then using that to help me, I'm going to see how much change she's going to get by working out the difference between six pounds and 87 pence and 10 pounds. Now, again, I'm going to think in terms of money. So, to this six pounds and 87 pence, I'm going to add one pence. And that will then take me to six pounds and 88 pence. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is get to the next 10. Um, and to get to the next 10, I need to add two pence. And that will give us six pounds and 90 pence. So then to get to the next 10 and to go up to the next pound, what am I going to need to add now? Pause the video to have a think. Well done, I need to add 10 pence. So I'm gonna add 10 pence here. And that will then take us up to seven pounds. Okay, and again, I'm thinking in terms of the coins that I have, I'm now going to add one pound, which will take me to what? Pause the video to have a think. Well done if you said it will take me up to eight pounds. And now what I need to do is figure out what to add to eight to get to 10. So pause the video. What am I going to add to eight to get to 10 pounds? Well done if you said two pounds. Okay, and what I'm going to do next is add all of these ones together to find out how much change she is going to get. 
So pause the video and I want you to add together the amounts that are here to find out what change she is going to get. Okay, let's add our pounds first. So two pounds add one pound equals three pounds. And then 10 pence add two pence add one pence gives us 13 pence. So she has got uh, 30, three pounds and 13 pence change. Now, the next part of the question says, the shopkeeper gives her six coins for her change. What coins could they be? And what I want you to do now is pause the video to have a think about what six coins the shopkeeper could give Kira for three pounds and 13 pence. So pause the video now to have a go. Okay, so there are a couple of options that you could have gone for. This is option number one. You could have had 50 pence, 50 pence, which would give us one pound, a two pound coin, 10 pence, two pence and one pence, and that would give us three pounds and 13 pence. You could have also had one pound and one pound and one pound to give us a three pounds, then 10 pence, two pence and one pence to give us the 13 pence. You could have also had two pounds and one pound, which gives us our three pounds, five pence, five pence, one pence and two pence to give us our 13 pence. Or you could have had two pounds, one pound, which gives us our three pounds, 10 pence, one pence, one pence and one pence. So each of these have included six coins to make three pounds and 13 pence. So well done if you got one of those answers. Okay, now it's your turn. Choose between activity one and activity two, and then you could challenge yourself further with activity number three. So you need to use a number line to solve these problems. You've got four parts to this question to answer. So question one, uh, Emily has five pounds. She spends three pounds and 45 pence. How much change is she going to receive? So use what we've done already to help you answer this question. The next one, Thomas has one pound. He spends 67 pence. How much change is he going to receive? Here you'll need to use your knowledge of knowing that one pound is the same as 100 pence to help you. See, Sarah buys a book for six pounds and 72 pence. She pays with a 10 pound note. How much change is she going to receive? Jake buys a football for 13 pounds and 95 pence. He pays with a 20 pound note. How much change is he going to receive? And you need to use a number line to solve all of these questions. Pause the video here if you are going to complete activity number one. Okay, activity number two. You need to complete the part whole model to solve the problem. How much change will I get from £10 if I spend four pounds and 86 pence. So you need to partition 10 pounds into pounds and pence to help you find the change. Now you need to draw a part whole model to solve the following. How much change will I get from five pounds if I spend three pounds and 28 pence? Again, you're going to need to partition five pounds to help you work out the answer. C, Jack buys a ball for five pounds and 82 pence. How much change will he get from 10 pounds? Again, use the part whole model to partition 10 pounds to help you find out the answer. And the last question, Tina buys a chocolate bar for 56 pence. How much change is she going to get from a two pound coin? And again, exactly as you've done here, you need to partition the two pound coin into pence and pounds to help you find the answer. You need to find the change. If you are completing activity number two, please pause here. Okay. Activity number three, which method will you use to calculate the change? 
So 3A, Noah buys a pack of cards for two pounds and 45 pence. He pays with a five pound note. How much change will he receive? What coins could he receive? And give three possible combinations. So there are a couple of parts to this question. You need to find out how much change he's going to get. You can either use the number line or you can use the part whole model to help you. And you need to have a look at what coins he's going to get. And you need to give me three different ways. B, James spends eight pounds and 40 pence on a board game. He pays with a 10 pound note. How much change is he going to receive? And he only receives silver coins in his change find two possible combinations. So again, you can use a number line or the part whole model to help you work it out, um, but he only receives silver coins. Uh, question C, Nadia spends six pounds and 17 pence on fruit. She pays with a 10 pound note. The coins she receives as change are all different. So she's not got a single piece of money that is the same and you need to draw her change. Andy, Fiona is working at a bake sale. A customer spends 65 pence and gives Fiona a two pound coin. What coins could Fiona give the customer as change? Find two possible combinations. So this is what you need to do for activity three. And remember, you need to find all the combinations that each question is asking you to find. Pause the video here if you are completing this activity with this challenge. And finally, the last challenge. Mrs. Dean buys a t-shirt. She pays with a £10 note. She gets four coins in change and each coin is different. What is the lowest possible price for the t-shirt? And what is the highest possible price for the t-shirt? So you need to work through this to find out the answer for A and B. Please make sure you upload your work to Tapestry Gandhi class and I will see you next time. Bye.